Welcome to the quick full guide of Super Smash Bros for Wii U. This quick bit should give you everything you need to know about how to play the game. Bear in mind the controls listed on the screen are for the GameCube controller, but for most other controls the letters will be the same. Now that that's out of the way, let's get smashing. First we're going to have each of the Mii Fighters torn so you know what to look for when we're demonstrating. Sword Fighter. Brawler. Gunner. Okie dokie. Tilt the left thumbstick to walk. Tilt it further to run. Tilt it fully and quickly to sprint. This is a good way of getting to places quickly. If you sprint back and forth really quickly, this is called a dash dance. It's a little advanced, so it's okay to leave it for now. Press the X or Y button to jump. Notice how you go up through the platform? Be sure to remember that. And look at our poor brawler. No matter how hard he tries, he can't reach the top platform. If only he had a second jump. Press the X or Y button for a second time to double jump. Some characters have more than one double jump, so keep that in mind. You also only get one double jump before you touch the ground. Now let's attack. Press the A button to do a jab. Press it three times to do a jab combo. Some characters, like the Brawler, require you to keep tapping A or hold A for the third press for a flurry attack. To cut the attack short, just let go of the A button. Tilt the left thumbstick and press the A button at the same time to do a tilt. Up tilt, side tilt, and down tilt. If you're already tilting in directions such as walking, you don't have to let go of the A button to do a tilt. You can also use tilts in the air. Do a jab in the air to do a neutral air. Neutral. And then forward tilt, back tilt, up tilt, and down tilt. These are called aerials. Let's look at the sword fighter so you can see how these moves work. Neutral air covers everywhere. Use forward air for the front, back air for behind. Use down air for people below you, and up air for people above. Now let's get onto some moves with some real killing power. Tap the left thumbstick and the A button at the same time for a smash attack. These moves are strong and have high power, but leave you open if you miss. You can also charge them by holding the A button. You've got forward smashes, up smashes, and down smashes. You also see that yellow right thumbstick? That's called the C stick. You can use that as well for smash attacks. And just like using left and A, you can charge these as long or as little as you want. You can also use the C-Stick for aerials, which is a handy tip, but bear in mind you can't use it for neutral ends, since that doesn't have a direction. Now let's get on to some special moves. When standing still, press the B button for a neutral special. Press side and B for a side special. Hey, come on, fire it the other direction, will you? Now as we were saying, Press side and B for a side special. That's more like it. Press down and B for a down special. And use up and B for an up special. We'll show you with a more close quarters character so you can see more of their directional effects. Side and B has good horizontal recovery. And up and B has great vertical recovery. You can even use it for a double jump with some maximum air. Be careful because you can only use up B once before you touch the ground. It is useful though for if you fall under the stage, use it to get back on top. Now let's look at defense. Hold L or R to shield. If you hold it too long or someone keeps hitting it, it will get smaller until it breaks. If it does, you'll be stunned for a long time, so be careful. 
Whilst the gun is stunned, let's look at the different things you can do with your shield. Press the A button to grab someone. If someone is staying in their shield too long, you can use your grab to grab through the shield. But what you, do you do when you've got someone grabbed? Tap the A button to hit them. Use the left thumbstick to throw them in any direction, like up, or backwards. You can throw them in all four directions. Forward throw. And down throw. Different characters have different properties for their throws, so find which one is the best for you. Now that the gun is back with us, Let's see some of the more defensive things you can do with your shield. Use the left thumbstick in shield, left or right, to roll. This is a good way to avoid damage and protect your shield. If you want to stay in the same spot though, press down to spot dodge. This is a quicker way of dodging and it means that you don't have to forfeit the ground that you've got. Be careful though because if you mistime it, you could end up getting hurt. To air dodge, simply press shield in the air. Shields are especially good for our last attack, the dash attack. Sprint and press the A button to do a dash attack. They're useful for covering ground, but they're easily punished by shields, so be careful. That's all from us, so good luck and happy smashing.